In my last video on Vault 79, I concluded with a question posed to Slick in Vault 79's Boolean Room. Thanks for pulling our fat out of the fire in the vault. Exactly how much gold is there? That's classified. Let's just say all of it. Because all of the gold is displayed in this actually kind of strange viewing room, I thought it would be interesting to find out the dollar value of Vault 79's gold and compare it to the real US gold reserves located at Fort Knox. First, let's start out with calculating the weight and value of each gold bar located in the vault. This one's pretty easy because we know that each of these bars came from Fort Knox. We can assume that they are what is referred to as a good delivery bar, which is a standard gold bar accepted by countries around the world. Importantly for this video, all good delivery bars are comprised of 400 troy ounces of pure 24 karat gold at 99.99% purity. This makes each bar that we find in Vault 79 worth $692,200. So yeah, at this point we can assume that our final number is going to be quite large. Now that we know each bar's value, let's count the bars in the vault. Sneaking into the gold storage area, we can get a better look at the gold storage. For some reason, the gold is stored in these large columns. Looking closer, we can see that the columns are filled with crates that are in turn filled with gold bullion. And obviously there's a lot here, so let's get counting. Each one of these gold storage crates is split in half identically on the top and bottom. There are 311 bars per half, 155 horizontally, and 156 vertically, depending on how you look at it, which makes 622 bars per crate. There are eight crates per occupied level of these columns. Luckily, every occupied level has the same number of crates on it. Unluckily, not every column of crates has the same number of occupied levels. There are 21 occupied columns in total. Some of them, especially in the back, don't actually have any gold on them. 15 of these columns are what I'm going to call normal columns that have 12 occupied levels. There are three columns that have nine occupied levels, two columns with 10 occupied levels, and one column with four occupied levels. Now we have all of the information that we need to find out Vault 79's gold value. Since we know each level has the same amount of gold, let's find out how many occupied levels there are. Adding them up, it comes to 231 occupied levels in the Boolean room. Each occupied level has 8 crates on it, so that comes to 1,848 total crates, plus the 3 sitting on this little scooter thing that goes back and forth to make this place look busy. Adding that, we get 1,851 total crates. Each crate has 622 bars, so that's 1,151,322 bars of gold plus the 100 bars that we looted during the Wastelander's main story quest, this gives us 1,151,422 bars of gold. Multiplying that by each gold bar's value, we get Vault 79's gold value. 797,014,308,400, or basically $800 billion within the margin of error. $800 billion. That's a lot of gold, but how does it compare to the real United States gold reserves located at Fort Knox? Because remember, Vault 79 will be the new home for all of America's gold reserves. Fort Knox will secretly be retired and emptied. Its gold bullion transported to the new vault, where it will be safe behind vault Tech's top-of-the-line automated security. All of the gold came from the United States Bullion Depository, also known as Fort Knox. According to the US Mint, there are currently 147 million troy ounces of gold at Fort Knox, which is about $250 billion worth of gold, which is obviously less than our value of $800 million at Vault 79. But also according to the US Mint, at one point, Fort Knox held 649.6 million troy ounces in December of 1941. This is because European countries moved their gold reserves to the US in order to keep it safe during the war. And this date is actually pretty close to when the Fallout universe 
split from hours, so technically, this is probably a better number to use. So, 649.6 million troy ounces is equal to 1 trillion, 104 billion, 320 million dollars worth of gold. So, obviously Bethesda missed the mark a little bit here, but at the same time, it's really not that far off. Going back to the question that we asked at the beginning of the video. Fine. Thanks for pulling our fat out of the fire in the vault. Exactly how much gold is there? That's classified. Let's just say... All of it. How much is all of it? It's about 470 million troy ounces, or 1,151,422 bars of gold, valued at 797 billion, 14 million, 308,400 US dollars. So there you go. The gold located in Vault 79's Boolean Room is actually less than Fort Knox's highest gold value. I definitely did not expect this. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I will put links to all my sources in the description below also. Make sure to check out my lore video on Vault 79. It's a great companion video to this one. Alright guys, that's all I have on Vault 79's gold value. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And before we end this video, I just wanted to take a second to personally thank all of my channel members but specifically RKD. This person has been subscribed for 13 months now, and sometimes I will go weeks without posting a video, and you stuck in there through it all. So whether you're going to be subscribed for another 13 months, or cancel your membership tomorrow, I just wanted to say thank you, and thank you to all my channel members. But anyway, this has been Widgen TV. thanks for watching guys.